Soldiers, someone wrote to me and asked, what are the best tips for spiritual warfare according to the Bible? Now that's a good question. It is quite evident that we are in the last of the last days. Now Jesus told us that we will recognize the season even if we do not know the exact day nor hour. The birth pangs are getting more intense and the time between them is becoming shorter and shorter. Global elitists are uniting together with an evil agenda against the kingdom of God and worse, the church has been infiltrated and corrupted. We are in the apostasy. Many have fallen away and many are falling away. People are not enduring sound doctrine. They are not remaining faithfully obedient to the word of God. Rather, they only want preachers who will tell them what they want to hear so they can pursue pleasure at the expense of their purpose, and God gave them over to their desires. And now pansy preachers stand behind the pulpit and peddle lies to the people for the sake of their own profit. They are wolves in sheep's clothing. Listen, we are all in a war against evil, whether you want to be in this war or not, so you might as well be trained and ready for battle. When you received your calling as a Christian, you were drafted into the kingdom of God's army. So what does the word of God instruct us to do? James tells us to submit to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Do not be double-minded. John tells us, do not love the world nor the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Jesus himself told us that those who desire to gain the whole world will do so at the expense of their own souls. Paul tells us you cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of the demons. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of the demons. It is for this reason that Joshua challenged the entire Israel army. If it is disagreeable in your sight to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves today whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. However, no soldier goes out onto the battlefield without first putting on his or her armor. And this is why Paul instructs us, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggles is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God so that you will be able to resist in the evil day and having done everything to stand firm. Stand firm, therefore, having girded your loins with truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In addition to all, taking up the shield of faith with which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And with all prayer and petition, pray at all times in the spirit. And with this in view, be on the alert with all perseverance and petition for all the saints. Armor up. Listen, we need to become warriors of the faith who diligently present ourselves approved to God as workers who do not need to be ashamed of the gospel because we are able to accurately handle the word of truth. Now, if anyone desires to be trained up and equipped with the full armor of God, I am going to be teaching this in great detail on my podcast in my Superhero University series. Now, I just started this, so it is not too late for you to join, and it's completely free to you. You can find me on Anchor or Spotify under the, the name Pointless Thorns, or the link is in my bio. Come on, are you a soldier in the kingdom of God or not? Let's go! Let me see your war face! Let's go!